So we are live right now, Alexander. So if you want to just introduce yourself, first of all, thank you very much for taking out time and being on the symposium. And I'm really looking forward to your presentation because I know you've put in a lot of hard work. So if you just introduce yourself and then you can give your presentation. Thanks. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I can finish. Yes. I, I can start. If, yes. yes. If, yeah. Yeah. Some uh, okay. introduction of yours. You can just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so, uh, yes, my name is Alexander. I am a professional mediation a mediator from uh, Kazakhstan. So, uh, in 2017, I I became in mediation. In the same year, uh, I founded the Institute of Conflict Resolution and Mediation in Kazakhstan. Uh, where I am a mediator, coach, and instructor uh, specializing in nego negotiations and uh, resolution of complex dispute, included many disputes uh, related to marriage, divorce, uh, family, community, and labor disputes, uh, collective barga bargaining, and uh, development of uh, preventive conflict resolution system for public and private sector uh, organizations. Uh, in, and in uh, 2020, our institute uh, initiation, the creation of a, of a movement of mediators of the CIS countries impulse. This moment included about 10 uh, Russian and Kazakh organization of mediators. And now we are actively, ac actively uh, involved uh, in the promotion and development of mediation in the CIS countries. Uh, Okay, uh, let me turn to my report. My report, uh, Dispute Resolution Tradition in Kazakhstan. Uh, the Republic of Kazakhstan is a young post-communist, uh, communist, uh, multicultural multicultural state uh, that emerged after the collapse of the former Soviet Union in 1991, uh, the multiculturalism of Kazakhstan society is a result of many historical factors. The history of a multi ethnic uh, society for my formation in Kazakhstan is divided into pre revolutionary and Soviet periods. The first uh, revolutionary periods refers uh, to the 60th, uh, 90th uh, centuries and the end of the 90th century, the resettlement policy of Tsarism Russia led to the fact uh, that the Russian population made 10, 13 percent non the non Russian nations making three percent and the Kazakh ethnic group totaling uh, eighty one percent. As many researchers noted uh, already in the pre revolutionary period, the population of Kazakhstan consisted of more than 60 nationalities. In the Soviet period, a multi ethnicization of Kazakhstan increased even more. During the years uh, of Stalinist repression, uh, repressions, more than uh, 40 
nationalities of uh, former USSR uh, were deported to Kazakhstan. They were the Germans, Karachais, Kalmyks, Ingus, Chechens, Balkars, Crimean Tatars, Dungans, Koreans, Turkmenians, and other nations. In the uh, 1930, the great step of Kazakhstan turned, turned uh, into the territory of 11 political camps, such as Gulag, Karlag, Algier. Uh, this process took place during the year of collectivization and death by hunger uh then more than one million kazakh died died uh in the 1930 at the same time uh there was the mass immigration of kazakh to china mongolia turkey iran afghanistan the modern multiculturalism of Kazakhstan is the result of many historical and tragic events. Now Kazakhstan is a young multicultural country, a national idea of which is to build a legal multi-ethnical state based on the peace, uh, peaceful coexistence of many ethnical identities within the framework of a single uh, civil identity. Uh, the use of mediation as a method of dispute resolution has a long history of uh, Kazakhstan stretching back to the day the, then the Kazakhs, Kazakhs uh, were um, nomadic people. UNDP has been working with the government of Kazakhstan to help revive mediation as a mean, means of solving problems and provide a viable uh, alternative to going to court. Um, in years gone by, the nomadic Kazakh uh, tribes following the concept of Adat and Shariat, the set of local and traditional laws and custom recognized by the clans and uh, respected members of the community, often the clan leader uh, acted as a mediator between conflicting parties. This mediation this mediator has known as a B. B. Uh, and the... Alexander, you want me to put on the presentation? The presentation, we can't see the presentation. The one that you uh, have, you want uh, me to you want me to do it? I can do it here if you want. Should I do it? Yes. I can can you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. which, okay. which one? This one. Uh, yes, Tauke Han, Jete Jarpe. The, um, sorry, uh, this mediator has, uh, uh, this mediator was known as a B, and the authority uh, was uh, derived uh, from knowledge of uh, uh, that system. The B is called upon. Uh, this knowledge to settle disagreements in a fair, fair manners, manner. Uh, now about uh, Council of Elders, Axakals. The old man's uh, Axakals uh, uh, councils are revived in pra practically all areas of Kazakhstan. Uh, yes, this presentation. As a rule, uh, this uh, council exists as 
an official Ekimat district or city administration departments. All Council of Elders of Kazakhstan has representatives for, from all of Kazakhstan's nationalities. The Council of Elders carries out the function of a cons, uh, consultant of administration. They have a, a certain um, degree of authority and they mediated the inter-ethnical conflict in Novi Uzen and Isik. In 2011, in, uh, in 2011, the government of Kazakhstan adopted a law of mediation. After the law uh, came into force, uh, UNDP and Supreme Court launched uh, a joint project to promote mediation is a legal institution. Out research, out, outreach uh, events uh, involved the media, uh, local government and uh, juridical and law enforcement agencies uh, the conducted across Kazakhstan, a range of teaching materials uh, of designed uh, and developed uh, to train professional and non-professional mediators and a co cohort of um, mediation coaches. Um, uh, UPR gives recommendation of errors where the uh, legal system could be improved. As a result of UPR, the president of Kazakhstan signed a new civil procedure code that enables of the use of an array of alternative method of dispute resolution included mediation. Mediation provides access to justice for, for all, or in other words, uh, words uh, facilitate, facilitates uh, the rule of law, which UNDP has consistently uh, supported. Ultimately, public events about the advantages of the use of mediation depends on the work of the mediators themselves. Them, themselves. The more success stories uh, this are about mediation, the more people will know about this method. Uh, this, uh, this will help them consolidate the positive Im image of mediators in society, in our society. Um, uh, multiculturalism and Interethnic stability in Kazakhstan. Uh, Kazakhstan often acted as a peacemaker in the regulation of interethnic conflicts. For example, a conflict about Armenia and Azer Azerbaijan uh, regarding uh, Nagorno Karabakh in uh, 19. 91 and 2016 about the first president of Kazakhstan, Nazarbayev, acted as a mediator in the international negotiation of nomadly for Germany, Russia, Ukraine, and France of the regulation of conflicts between Russia and Ukraine then Astana was recognized as a 
preferred place for negotiation. Kazakhstan also took part or uh, took part in settling the conflict in Syria in 2017. Then seven international meetings uh, were held in Astana from January uh, to October 2017, included delegation from Russia, Turkey, Iran, the United States of America, the United Nations, as well as representatives of the official Syrian government and opposition forces of Syria. This nego negotiation, these negotiations uh, were called the Astana process and made a great contribution to the regulation of this armed conflict. The modern, Kazakh, uh, the modern Kazakhstan model of multiculturalism, uh, social harmony and national unity are embodied in the national idea of Kazakhstan Mangelik Yel, uh, which is translated from the Kazakhstan long, uh, language which uh, uh, is a uh, eternal earth uh, results. The Assembly of People of Kazakhstan was founded in March 1, uh, 1992. Uh, the main purpose of this organization is ensure in oh, ensure of inter-ethnic and inter-religion harmony, uh, which is especially important during the national building process of a young multicultural uh, country than the state forming ethnical group was in min minority. In 2011, under the Assembly of People of Kazakhstan, a special mediation center, Mediation Co Council was created. Uh, currently in Kazakhstan, uh, there are 828, uh, religional branches in the general uh, mediation network and 13 mediation councils. In 2016, uh, uh, the memorandum of cooperation between the Assembly of People of Kazakhstan and the Supreme Courts of the Republic of Kazakhstan was established. Uh, despite the high level of inter-ethnical harmony as a whole, uh, in recent times, in fortunately, uh, there have been some cases of outbreaks of inter-ethnical conflict in Kazakhstan. At the beginning of uh, 2000, Kazakhstan experience, experienced uh, several inter-ethnical conflicts, for example, conflicts with the Chechen Mahmadov family in 2007, local uh, Kazakh Uyghur conflicts in 2006 and uh, anti Kurdish conflict in 2007 in South Kazakhstan region. This conflict, the indefinite 
treated as domestic con uh, criminal ones based on grassroots xenophobia. The largest cases of interethnical conflicts occurred uh, in the eastern and southeastern region in of the country, which are an important oil produce, producing region, East Kazakhstan region, and characterized by ethnic diversity and high population density of uh, South East Jambul region. Also, the conflict between Kazakh youth and people from Caucasus in Jana Ozen, uh, Western Kazakhstan in 90, 1989, which grew in larger riots as a result, uh, as a result of which about uh, 3,000 people returned to the Caucasus. Janao Zen uh, continues to be a social tense region event now because of the social economic problems in the oil producing region of Kazakhstan. The economic uh, inequality between visiting shift workers and local population. This ethnical clash between the local population and, and the Dungans, the uh, third largest ethnical group living in this territory took place in the Kordai district, district of the Jambul region in February 7, 2020. This inter-ethnical conflict are just the tip of the, ice, of the iceberg uh, behind which there is a set of so social economic problems such as uh, low living standards of rural uh, areas, unemployed, employment, high levels of competition for job in areas of mass migration of foreign labor, uh, inequality in distribution, distribution, weak government and high level of corruption. Um, this is a need for serious research, research interest of, uh, of uh, the present uh, measures of inter-ethnical conflict in Kazakhstan as a uh, uh, deliberate silenting and the lack of research and public discourse uh, does not lead to a solution to the, pro pro to the problem. As many researchers note, uh, recently Kazakhstan has lacked full-scale financial of no logical monitoring and social social logical research uh, on the subject of interethnical tension. The issue of mediation is among uh, the important uh, presentive messages of interethnical conflict, which uh, should serve as an instrument of people diplomacy 
and presentation, uh, prison pre and privation, I'm sorry, and privation of acute conflict. That's all. My report is finished. Thank you, I'm Alexander. Sorry for my English. It's perfectly all right. Perfectly all right. L language is not a problem at all. It should not be a problem. So now basically we what we need from you is to tell us how popular is mediation in Kazakhstan. Uh, just a minute. In our country, mediation is getting very popular, especially um, in period of pandemia. Now, okay, because, because uh, Alexander, at the, I always am interested at the community level, in the communities. Are they using mediation? Are they, is there like the traditional method or something like that, village elders or something like that? Are they still using something like that? Uh, Vikram, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, give, give me one second. I'll, 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 I'll write it in. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Give me one second. Hello, Giovanni. I'm glad to see you. Do you know Federico Ferraris from, uh, from Milan? I, th I think I, I listened, I read something by Federico, but I really don't remember when and how. Did you meet? Did you meet her? Did you meet him? How did you know Federico? Federico was a speaker uh, in our um, conference in twenty twenty international uh, conference uh, by mediation. I was in Astana, if I remember well in 1917 or 1918 with a, a conference with a, a parliamentary section, a section of your parliament regarding just mediation in your extremely wonderful museum in the center of Astana. And you, you told uh, the seven principles of some centuries ago, you should also a slide. Could you tell me more about these seven principles? Seven principles? Uh, what? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's not principles. It's... Um, Oh, just a minute. It's it's rules. Uh, do you understand? Uh, it's rules. It's um, chapters. Seven chapters. Yes. Yeah, right. we understood. Yeah, I think he's, he's understood. Giovanni, should I put the screen again? Uh, this quote was in uh, 18th uh, centuries in Kazakhstan. It was... I also... 
I also read of the BG court, B I J S court. If I remember well, B I Y S, B I Y S, bees. So, uh, ah, B B uh, yeah. bees. They call it bees. bees. How, how, how are they pronounced? Bees, bees, bees court. Yes, and it was very well renowned. If I remember well, and <laughs> yeah, this... did, did they have? Well, did they have mediation principles in their in their rules? The Bishop Court used also judicial mediation, court and accident mediation. So basically, Alexander, you have to tell us that was it mediation or were they acting like a court? Can you were they, write? Yeah. Write. Basically, chat. yeah, one sec. Just give me one second. Just uh, I can correctly translate and answer in, in English. No problem. One sec. Basically, what, what we want to know is, was bees doing mediation or was it a court? Let me, I'll just. Yeah. That... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I can, um, I can give answer uh, the question. Uh, bees uh, were uh, decide on the basic of customs, tradition, and norm of Islam. Yeah, so they were basing giving a decision. It was like a decision okay, given okay. by them. Yeah. Uh, they give decision. Not it's not mediation. Uh, like okay, okay. we understand. Okay. So now one. But, I have one but, question. I have but, two questions for you. Okay. I'm putting it there in the. In the chat. These are the two questions for you. Okay. Mm. I'm writing one more question. One uh, more question in, I put. Yeah, there is one more last question I put in the bottom. Uh, in villages, uh, they don't know about mediation don't know about mediation and uh, but but uh, but uh, there is a council of elders AXA calls uh, they help uh, people in uh, villages uh, in uh, in the re resolution of conflict. Uh, I'm sorry. You, this is what you uh, mentioned. Yes, yes. Uh, council of elders. Elders. So now the council of elders, there is some law on that now? Uh, is there some law that has been which has come out? Not law. 
not law, it's tradition. Uh, tradition in uh, in some territory. Uh, we have many nationalities, not only Kazakhs. I uh, told about this Uyghurs and Dungans and um, uh, Uzbeks. Yes. Yeah, you you were given one whole list of various nationalities. Yes. So they have different ways of doing mediation. Is there some differences there? What? Do they have different ways of doing mediation in the different communities? Mm. I'll, I'll put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat. Do the various ethnic groups have different ways of doing mediation? Um. Not, 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 uh, not different, uh, just a minute. Hi, Ulusara. We'll just, hello. How are you? Very hello. good. How are you? We are with Alexander. He's from Kazakhstan. Ah, uh, hello, Alexander. And Giovanni, Giovanni is in Italy. Giovanni is in Italy. He's a very enthusiastic person here. <laughs> Look, oh, hello, Giovanni. What is the time there, Giovanni? I was just going to ask that question. <laughs> Giovanni, what is the time? About, about Italian food or about what else? What is your time right now? What time are you at? Uh, we come about your question. Yeah. Um, no, uh, they have no different ways. Uh, they have different tradition. Mm -hmm. Different tradition uh, in his uh, nationality, nationality tradition. Because I, that day we were talking about some of the Mahalla or something like that. There was some. Yeah, you said there was a there was that method, but it was used by the uh, where was that? We were talking about that. Uh, mahalla, there was a mahalla system that we had spoken about. Mm, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Uh, you were basically we were. Oh, there is in the Uzbek in Uzbekistan there is a mahalla. You were ah ma mahalla mahalla. Yeah. yeah, what is that about? No, no. Kazakhstan uh, don't use a term in mahalla. Mm -hmm. No. But how is that? What is what is that mahalla? What is that system? Mahalla. Just a minute. Yeah. Also, I will start your session on time. Don't worry. Okay. I'm listening. And, I'm, and what is the time in Kazakhstan? What is the time, as Alexander? Uh, uh, 12, 12. 12, 14. Yeah. Ah, okay. We are so half an hour about, ahead of us. Half an hour ahead of us. About, about uh, your question. Yeah. Uh, Mahala. Uh, it's a separate community living in its own tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, yeah. maybe we can study whether they have mediation, how they do that. Maybe we can do that. So that's about, I mean, what else? Do you want to tell us anything more about the conflicts in Kazakhstan? and how they're using mediation to solve that? 
those the ethnic conflicts is there mediation used there i mean we want to tell yes. us more about that yeah in, in ethnical uh, uh, in ethnical conflict uh, our colleagues uh, used uh, some instrument of mediation but it not but it not mediation <sighs> Uh, not mediation in poor form. How much work is your mediation center doing? In our center? In our uh, uh, in our registry uh, near um, fifty mediators in our Institute on Conflict Resolution and Mediation, private enterprise. And how many cases do you? How many matters do you get? for mediation uh, totally uh, yeah. or in this year in this year in this year or in this years? year mm, uh, i can uh, i can talk about myself <laughs> yeah now uh, because um, Because uh, yeah, because you know, we mm, summarize uh, summarize at the end of a year uh, all uh, all mediations. Uh, about me, in this uh, 2021, uh, I have near uh, 15 mediative, uh, mediative. But what kind of matters are they? Agreements. What? What kind of matters? What kind are they? What kind of disputes? I I use. Now, what was it? What were the disputes that came to you? What kind? Family matters, community matters. Oh, okay. uh, yes. Um, mostly, uh, uh, it's family, uh, divorce, and and business conflicts. Mm -hmm. So how are you promoting mediation? Uh, from social networks, from uh, internet, uh, from um, just a minute. Uh, today uh, uh, there will be a round table uh, with, with the administrative administrative court uh, in online. Okay, but what about the courts? I mean, is there uh, mediation through the courts out there? What? In the courts, in the courts in Kazakhstan, uh, is there mediation in the court system? Ah, yes. 
uh, in Kazakhstan uh, have been uh, uh, mediation in court. So we have uh, judges, peacemakers. I think it's wrong. It's yeah. my own. Uh, it's my own view. Um, That's your opinion. Opinion, yeah. yes, yes. It's my own opinion, but I think that it's wrong. Uh, mediation for professional mediators and Absolutely. and. Perfect. So anything else you want to, final words that you want to tell us how you look at mediation in the future in Kazakhstan and the world? Okay. I, I answer just a minute. Uh, I believe that the development uh, of mediation is possible when mediators begin to unite and work together. Uh, now many of our mediation of Kazakhstan are com uh, competing, competing with us. Are you doing some work in the CIS countries? Uh, yes. Uh, in uh, 2020 uh, was created of movement of mediators of C of the CIS countries and name it impulse uh, now uh, this moment included about 10 Russian and Kazakh uh, organization of mediators okay so there is a lot of work here that you're doing. That's very good. And thank you very much for being with us, Alexander. It was very nice. And your English is perfect. Don't even worry about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Vikram, and our colleagues. Uh, um, for all, I... Uh, just a minute... I send my uh, heartfelt uh, greetings for all mediators of around the world. Thank you very much, Alexander. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon.